Hi, Jerry Zayden here with Camberg Engineering. We're in Huntington Beach, California. We're also known as Camberg Racing, so at Camberg Racing on all the social media platforms. Anyways, we got the crew from AEM here. We have their new CD7 data logging dash. We have it in a new race side-by-side -side that we built here in-house. It's a Polaris Razor. Also, in our shop, we're gonna do a little shop tour. We're gonna show you the welding department where we do custom fab. We've been working with AEM since uh, early 2000s from the filtration side of their business. Uh, first time we use the AEM product is uh, we used a, a competitor product before them in a Baja 1000 race actually took us out of the race because the filter clogged caused all kinds of issues. Met Kurt Miller and Greg from AEM and we put their dry flow filter on the vehicle. We raced the next Baja race and finished, did pretty well in that race. Um, and ever since, just been a big fan of AEM. They've supported our programs over 15 years now. Really excited to use some of their electronics in this new build. So let's go check it out. So here we are walking in the back of the Camberg shop here. Uh, this is the side-by-side -side we're gonna talk about that we have their dash in. So basically like our kinetic trophy trucks we built, uh, we built from the ground up a whole trophy truck. We took this Polaris Razor, brand new car, and completely gutted the whole car, got it down to the bare minimum per the rules, and did a full laser scan of the chassis and built the whole car in CAD uh, from there. So revolutionized uh, quite a bit of the suspension here, really making everything super efficient with the car. Everyone thinks it's like a class one car, a class 10 car, but it's really a side-by-side, -side, so it's pretty neat. These cars have really come a long ways. Uh, you're starting to see these guys uptick into the top 10 overall in the races with these side-by-sides. So it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, our goal with this car is to potentially race the Baja 1000 this year. Obviously it's a COVID year and we're waiting to get some of this racing opened up. Hopefully by November we'll be able to. So that'll be a lot of fun. All right, so on this car that we designed here, uh, one of the really cool things was Method Wheels did these really high offset wheels. And what this allowed is us to push all the suspension out and keep the wheels pulled in to give us basically more suspension travel or a better suspension geometry by keeping the width of the car. So this is all cambered rear trailing arms. So they're not straight with a big jog out the back. They're actually pretty straight, which makes the arm quite a bit stronger because when you bottom out these cars, it actually bottoms out on the shock. So we're not stressing and twisting the, the suspension so much, which leads to a lot of failure on the rear arm. So with the rear arms pretty straight there, then we get into the front suspension kit. On this car, same thing. It's got a much wider A-arm because of the high offset wheel here. That's in the Camberg suspension. We got all the Fox shocks on here. Uh, the whole car is fully TIG welded chromoly, all radius cage, 40 plus gallons of fuel behind the seat. So really we focused on the weight balance of the car because there's a certain balance that you want to have on an off-road vehicle. And there's also a certain weight. Like it's not too light, it's not too heavy. Uh, knowing what we know from the trophy trucks and the 6100 or spec trophy trucks that we've been building and winning and getting multiple podiums we're putting into this car as well. Keeping it very simple. Like these cars are really reliable. Keep them simple. I think that's the ticket. A lot of people overbuild and they overdo a lot of components. That also lead to failures because there's so many modifications. When you look at who's winning in these races, the cars are really trick but very simple. And that's kind of our philosophy on the build here. A lot of technology in the car, you know, from the GP and the rugged race radios. And then now on this car is ADM's data logging dash. Uh, they have pre-programmed dashes, all pre-wire loomed out. They go in all the different makes and models of these side-by-sides. And it's really trick because you can program and add multiple different sensors, way more sensors than the average person would ever need. But in racing, we just want to have all that information from shock temperatures, water temperature, the belt temperature, all these different channels that you can add to the system and full data logging, full GPS system built in. Uh, the unit is really high tech. It's very robust. It's all weatherproof, uh, waterproof, mud proof, dirt proof, Baja proof, desert proof, whatever you want to call it. That's uh, what's really cool about this AEM dash. Now that we're in the back of the Camberg shop, let's check out and give you a little tour of what's going on. Uh, this used to be our machine shop, a CNC machine shop. That's now off-site, uh, right around the corner, actually. Uh, we have a CNC machine shop with all deuce on CNC machines. But this is our welding facility here. Everywhere from building full racer ends and links to our full production shop here. 
Uh, right now, half the crew is on break, but you get the idea of what we do here. But this is Jason's buggy here. This runs full LS engine, twin turbocharged. Uh, this has our kinetic shocks on the back of it on a full cantilever system. And uh, this is a build in progress that will get done for next uh, Glamis and off-road season. Uh, he's picking out different colors, getting ready to start coating the car. Pretty trick car. In the shop over here, kind of reorg time right now, but we've moved the press brake from this zone, making this kind of our messier kind of sheet metal zone. Actually, my son, Zach Zayden's 93 Ford Bronco we're doing a build on. You could check out some of the stuff we're doing here. So it's a pretty cool system on this. This is typically what we do day to day. It's got three inch coilovers, two and a half inch hydraulic bump stops, all the suspension. We got the same thing coming out the back here. It's got one of our full two and a half inch race truck runs in it. All the Diva springs, the Fox bypass shocks under the back. It's got the Yukon gear, uh, nodular housing. Pretty cool vehicle. These Broncos are getting really popular. And then different trucks that we build through the shop. So let's uh, check out more of the tech side in a minute. Uh, we're gonna be showing you with the laptop in there, how we can program all the different data values. So like when you're racing the car, you see RPM and speed, setting up warning lights, what information we're seeing. Like for me, it would be uh, voltage, belt temp, and water temp. That's the main stuff I wanna see because the critical things in this car is you don't wanna overheat and you don't want the belt to get too hot because that's when the belts break. That's really all I would care about. Other people might wanna see other stuff. Are you using it in a play application? How much fuel do you have? What's your water temp? Where are you? because uh, you got GPS data and all that other stuff. Um, I'm gonna learn a lot more when we plug in about how we can program. Uh, so it's gonna be really cool for that first reaction. So all of our social media is at Camberg Racing. My personal is at Jerry Zayden. Uh, come check us out, watch some off-road stuff. Come by the shop in Huntington Beach, whatever you wanna do, or camberg.com. Thank you.